Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Atletico Madrid versus Manchester United in the Champions League. Kickoff time in the UK, 8 pm, live on BT Sports. Now, this is a lineup I'll go with. Huge game, absolutely huge. In goal, I'll play Daphne De Gea, right back. And Wan Bissaka, centre backs, Harry Maguire, Raphael Horan, or probably be Lindelof or someone. And then left back, Luke Shaw, central defence, midfield, Scott McTominay. Then in the midfield, Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, that's the lineup. I go with now. We got Ronaldo to thank why we're still in the Champions League in this season. If it wasn't for him and De Gea, we would one hundred percent be knocked out of it by now. Just absolutely shocking. We've been in the Champions League this season, but somehow we made it through. It's a miracle. I don't know how, but wow, unbelievable. But this is a huge game, you know, Manchester United defensively have got to be on top. Now, Atletico Madrid this season are not having such a great season in that La Liga, but Manchester United still need to stay focused, otherwise they'll get punished, you know. they got a lot of top quality players, like they got Griezmann, they got Luis Suarez, it'd be absolutely... Wow, if we're not on it, we'll get punished because they'll punish us. Diego Simonone, now he has been at Atletico Madrid for some time now. And to me, he's a very good manager, Diego Simonone. He's one who takes no messing around. But Manchester United have just got to defend well, stay focused and hopefully... We can get Atletico Madrid on the counter-attack and Cristiano Ronaldo can score, hopefully, a couple goals. But I believe the away goal rule is now gone in the Champions League because usually away goals count double, but I think they changed it now. But Atletico Madrid Stadium, wow. The atmosphere and that is going to be absolutely buzzing. It really is. Really looking forward to this game, but can Manchester United get the job done or are they in for hiding? I just don't know because it's a good win against Leeds. But to me, the concern is how we allowed that two-goal lead to slip yesterday. Still got my concerns about the defence sometimes, but we'll wait and see what happens. But hopefully Ralph Rangak, he'll play the right formation and get the team playing right. Well, yesterday against Leeds, we parked the bus in the end by taking Cristiano Ronaldo off and putting Rafael Varane on. It's absolutely mad on that, parking the bus. But still, we won 4-2. But I don't think we should just sit back against Atletico Madrid because that'd be risky and... We tried that against Liverpool in the Premier League and look at what happened. We got absolutely taken to the cleaners. We really did. <laughs> yeah, the most shittiest performances I ever known from a Manchester United team. That. And we got Liverpool coming up again. Oh, dear me, bro. Will, be, will we be in for another hiding against them? I really hope not, but... In this game, I'm going with a 2-1 victory to Manchester United. I can just see it being an edgy game, to be honest. You know, I think Atletico Madrid will make us very nervous. And we just need to weather the storm. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the game. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply and join me on Wednesday evening for a match review. And Atletico Madrid versus Manchester United in the first leg in the UEFA Champions League. Come on, United! This is a huge game. 
is now or never. How far can we go in this Champions League? Bye-bye.